Good morning, we're just getting ourselves ready to head out the door. We're gonna take Otto for a quick walk this morning and then I want to get the autumn kind of like Halloween box out this year. I am indulging in all of the festivities <laughs> that we can. I'm just so looking forward to enjoying it with Teddy. I've got on my, if you watched my last video, my top. <laughs> I don't think it looks like a mighty top, but we'll see. I'm actually really thrilled for that. <laughs> and let me put you there. Did I tell you that I did manage to get that candle in anthropology that I mentioned? I'll be honest, I'm kind of glad that it's not on the website anymore because it was a small fortune, but it's gonna be something that I keep forevermore. I just thought it was so beautiful. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I absolutely need that. It's painted all around the edge. And then obviously it is a candle at the moment but I plan on burning it down and then like putting sweets in it or cookies, just like autumn treats. And they actually had some smaller ones too that I was also considering to like sit by, but I was like, mm, maybe another year. Maybe I need to invest each year. We may also pop to home sets. I don't really have a lot of Halloween. I have a few bits for autumn, but I think then when you like have a kid a bit more as well, you can indulge a bit more in the like Halloween, sorry, theme too. You bet I'm gonna be dressing us up this year. And then after a cozy day today, tomorrow we're actually heading to my parents. Otto's getting excited to go for a walk because they are getting new carpet on their stairs. And the last time we were there, the carpet was off and Ollie was like, I can do something for you here. So he is gonna make their stairs less creaky. So we're going also to get some glue today to fix them up before the carpet goes on. And in return, mum is making a roast. So yeah, come along with us. Oh, not just pooping in the background, that's lovely. We're on a hunt for pumpkins, which may not be quite so easy at the moment because this has turned into a baby storeroom. I think I did try and put the seasonal boxes just in this line here yeah, so that it was easy to get to. Yeah, Hmm. Christmas tree. Yeah, all of this down here. Well, thankfully, it's not too hard to spy the pumpkins. <laughs> all right, there. The only thing with keeping dried flowers, come and smell this box. What does that smell of? To me, it smells like, you know, when you get that like stale vitamin. Oh, or like yeah, bad yeah. vitamin smell in a box. In a pot of... In a pot of like when it's really strong and fragrant. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Is it bad though? What kind of... Oh yeah, no, that's bad. That's not bad to you. I don't know. It's it. Yeah, that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Most of this you'll start getting to know now. I've had these pumpkins for a little while and I've also had this dried bouquet for a while and it just keeps giving. This is one that you got me on, do you remember? It was a lovely Waitrose. Okay. So and I've been bringing it out long. every year. Yeah, it's definitely been a few years now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is the one that is pretty stinky though, but it's got the most gorgeous colors. I think I added these bits here, they definitely don't go as well. So I'm gonna try and arrange that. And then I must have added these pieces at some point as well. Ollie and I were just talking on the walk that it would be super cute if we did a little um, like fancy dress Halloween party for the bubbers that we know and to get everybody like parents to maybe to dress up so it gives a really nice excuse to doll up this front room of ours which is kind of like a bit of an entertaining room for us isn't it? Sorry Ollie is sat just behind you there. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of like if we host, naturally people come into this first room here. First things first, we're gonna have a little clean through. Um, and I've got a Purdy and Figs seasonal scent box. 
I actually discovered this brand a little while ago when my friend sent me a link to their Instagram and they have the most gorgeous, if I just open it up here, they've redone all of their branding and it is absolutely stunning. 100% plant-based cleaning products are really important for me now with um, all of the boys that I have in this house. They're very important to me and I want to keep us healthy. But what I really love is I adore the seasons as they come around. As you guys know, I really enjoy indulging in them. And a big thing for me with that is scent and they do these seasonal ones. So this one has juniper and cardamom, lavender and chamomile, patchouli and cedarwood. I don't know if you guys know, but I did actually work in product and development with a fragrance brand ages ago. So fragrance is just such a emotive, like sensory experience for me. And there's nothing better then having the home, yes Otto, having the home, smelling good when you are hosting <laughs> because um, it's quite a challenge sometimes with a dog and a baby. This has three essential oils which you add to the bottle. So the juniper and cardamom is a bright blend of spicy cardamom and peppery woody undertones of juniper berry and citrus hints of lemon, which is inspired by a crisp g and one of my faves. And then lavender and chamomile, which is inspired by a carefree weekends at a country spa. I can just imagine that. You've obviously got the lavender and the chamomile, but it's also got like curry sage and geranium in it too. Lastly, patchouli and cedarwood, which is inspired by scented wood chests of linen and silk from faraway lands. I know that this one is gonna be one of my favorites, maybe a little bit darker. Ooh, yeah, a really warm scent. I'm gonna go for the patchouli and cedarwood. So you simply just pour this entire bottle into the cleaning bottle and then fill it up with water. The brand was developed by two best friends who are mums. Um, it's all made in the UK. They've got a really lovely ethos. I've watched the video on their website, which is just really lovely if you want to know a little bit more about the brand. And I do also feel like the product is really good. It definitely makes me clean. It gives me the joy to be able to get it out so that I can smell the fragrance on the like surface tops, especially in the kitchen. And the nice thing is, is that you've just got one bottle that goes on pretty much everything. So I just run around with this in my hand when I am cleaning up. If you fancy giving it a go, I have got a code which I'll put here and a link down below. I'm ready to get it all to me now. Living room is looking pretty cozy. I would have liked to have styled a few more rooms in the house, but we're actually tearing out the back area at the moment. So dust is gonna be rife. And the dining room where I plan to put these is currently being used as a bit of a storeroom, unfortunately, again. But I think I will have an opportunity at some point to pop these up. So I plan to get some like really nice autumnal twigs, probably from the garden or on my searches. But how sweet, those little mushrooms. I thought they were really lovely. And then the pumpkins that I showed earlier, the little glass pumpkins. I basically get these from the White Company in every style that they bring out. So I had the little rabbits at Easter. Now I've got the pumpkins. I've got loads of Christmas baubles that look exactly like this, but it's really nice to keep it quite consistent. They came also with a little bit of ribbon. I took that off because I actually like them looking more like a pumpkin and with a little flower in them. So they've also got you see there a little hole in them for a flower but i might also see what they look like with said mushrooms on a little twig we're heading out again we are going to pop into town to get some lunch and to get some books for teddy like autumn halloween themed books maybe something for his room um and then 
try out home sense. We're gonna give it a go, see what they've got. You can probably hear, but it is tipping it down. So we, um, as quickly as we could, did our jobs. But we did manage to pick up some reduced lunch in a mess, although it was way gone lunchtime. And we also got in advance all of the MS Halloween stuff vampire fangs, Frankenstein faces, and then these are always our favourite every year. I thought they were eyeballs. Oops, he's lost his toy. <laughs> um, but they're actually little pumpkins and also a mix. And we did manage to get some cute little things in home TK Maxx. TK Maxx. We've got TK Maxx on our home sense. And we got some Merry Merry. I, I'm not sure if that's how you say it. But I love their party stuff for kids. And often they're in either TK Maxx or Home Sense, so I always try and pick up some bits if I find them. Because those hats will last a few years. <laughs> We're gonna tuck into some lunch and then head to Home Sense and see what it's like there. It's probably gonna be quite busy because it's a rainy like weekend day. Mm. Yeah, it's hot though, isn't it? It's warm, yeah. buggy. Yeah. And this little cutie is gonna come home for the nursery. <laughs> It's actually in a really nice linen fabric, which I thought was kind of nice. And he's quite happy. To be honest, mostly Halloween. They have some of these, but not quite the right colours. I feel like we really indulged in some of the cute stuff. Otto's very interested in it all right now. We've got this hanging skeleton, but it's like a cute looking skeleton. Actually, I wonder how big it is. Not huge. 110 centimeters. Oh, not bad. Cool. And then Ollie picked these glow in the dark stickers, which I think would actually be really cute to put on his nursery window. Not that he'll see them probably at night because the barn will be closed most of the time. We're turning into those people that just buy stuff for their for children. Yeah. I had to pick these up. Again, they're the brand that I love, but I think I might have to save them till next year when he can actually pop oh, the cracker. Yeah, pop the cracker and enjoy it. Cute little boo napkins. Can't get something for one child and not for the other. Otto ruins, kills, shreds all of his toys. Apart from as you might be able to hear, his balls and tennis balls. And they had these little novelty Halloween ones. A pumpkin, a ghost, and a cat. <laughs> oh, leave it with the ones in the packaging, okay. I think we're just gonna settle in for the evening. Probably put these in a little bowl that we all just eat before Halloween. It's the only thing we're getting things a little bit before Halloween. Oh, maybe it's after the camera. <laughs> So if I don't check it, and we'll see you in the morning. We put a bit of perspex behind Teddy's changing mat because he was putting his sticky fingers all over it. Actually didn't get any accidents over there, which I'm surprised about with his whole newborn phase. We do plan to actually put it up and screw it in so that it's not just awkwardly dangling down here but we are going to put a little ghosty on it for now and I've also popped one on the window there which he won't see because it'll be down at night unless well I suppose no come Halloween it'll be dark outside at like four o'clock and yeah. in the morning so what do you think kind of there yeah that's kind of near where he's hidden Good morning. We are at my parents' house this morning. I actually sit in the bathroom, which is a little bit echoey. But I mentioned that Ollie is doing their stairs because they are so squeaky. Now they're in um, a townhouse too, but it's a modern one. And I thought I'd just show what Ollie's hoping to do to get them to stop squeaking. I'll show you how they are squeaking at the moment. He's already done all the drilling. And actually it's been a semi-quick job, hasn't it, Ollie? Yeah, he's right here. Like an hour this morning. Yeah. Um, yeah, turn you around. So on every step, Ollie is gluing and drilling to put screws in both the top 
and in the side. So you can see on this first one, there was a gap here, like here. He's gluing that with just wood adhesive in little gun. P, P U five minute wood glue. Okay, well maybe you should just explain here, you know what you're doing. Okay. Right, so I'm not quite sure whether it's the backs of the stairs squeaking or the front of the treads. So I have drilled a few holes in the top with a little countersink bit and we're putting screws in the top there. And I'm just adding a bit of glue back there just because it might be squeaking there. And as I said, five minute PU firming adhesive, um, spraying a bit of water in the back corner just to make it set faster. And then all of these holes I have done with a little pocket hole jig and they've been done all the way down the stairs. Uh, in some places I've just done three, in some places that are more, depending on how ropey it's looking. Um, and yeah, I'll squirt some glue in, glue in along that line and then tighten up all the screws and then it should be done. Before we leave today, will we know that they're not squeaking? Yes, no. it says five minute, but it's more like 15, 30 minutes. Okay. But it's definitely set within like an hour. So hopefully we'll be able to show the difference. Hopefully. I'll show you how bad these are. These are some of the worst right here. No, I think it's down. No, is yeah, it the next set down? Yeah. No, it's actually just at the end now. Here? I don't know. Oh yeah, these ones. Oh yeah. These middle ones aren't too bad. Always say it's going to be a quick job, but Ollie has, it's literally taken him nearly all day. It's, can you see all the screws that he's put in? and it's still got to um, dry. You can kind of tell, especially on these, how much quieter that is there. I'm putting another jumper on, on top of my jumper. I feel like autumn really came with a bang. September hit, schools went back, and it was like, temperatures have dropped. I'm not mad about it though. It's been quite nice to get cozy in this video. I hope you've also been able to enjoy, maybe have a hot drink, sit under the blanket. We've been doing that every evening at the moment. In fact, I'm thinking we may have to plug these electric blankets back in. We use them without them plugged in, like when it's not too cold, but I think we're there now. And there's something with that, like September back to school feeling where now I'm feeling like, God, where's this year gone? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that we're going to be in October soon. And then this year will be really exciting with the like Christmas, Christmas decorating. I'm already thinking about it and little one's birthday in January. We've got a lot to look forward to at this end of the year. And we're also doing, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, the upstairs project. So the bathroom should hopefully be done by the end of the year, which right now feels mad to say, I feel like we're so far away, but we're doing things differently in that one. So that hopefully it is a lot quicker, but I will see you next week for an update on that. I hope you're all well and having a good week. See you soon. Bye.